Hello, welcome to Anderson's TV. My name is Jet Tux Free, as ever, the Maltese Falcon. And luckily, we've got Oz in the room. And we might have a bit of fun, or we might embarrass ourselves. I've been given the new Etherwave, Etherwave theremin from Moog Synthesizers. I know nothing about it. I'm gonna get it out of the box, and we're gonna plug it in and see what music we can get out of it. Let's unbox the thing, and we'll talk about it as we go. Let's go! Okay, let's see what's in here. Oh, welcome to the Moog Music family. Your new analog theremin was lovingly designed and built by Moog's employee owners to bring you joy and a lifetime of inspiring musical experiences. How, how lovely. Oh my God, they do it well, don't they? <laughs> Crikey. I'm getting excited now. Quick start. It seems a pretty simple product, but as you know, I don't know if you know about theremins, but I can pretend like I do, because there's a brief history of the theremin. Story time. Here we go, story time. In 1896, Lev, oh, they killed me there with some crazy Russian name. Sergeyevich Terman, Terman, Leon Theremin, is born in St. Peter, St. Petersburg, Russia, a student of both physics and cello performance. Theremin's unique educational background leads to the development of the ele electronic musical invention that bears his name. So 1896, they made the first one. It's this big cabinet style thing. And then, I don't know if you, to me, theremin is like Doctor Who and, um, I don't know, like the, an odd stage at Glastonbury. <laughs> like two in the morning, a beautiful girl or dude in like a shimmery dress or something playing this. So we're not, yeah, exactly like this. Now, what is it? Moog Music commemorates the 100th anniversary of the theremin by introducing the new Clarivox Centennial the following year, a new addition to, okay, that was 2020. And then we get to here, the other way. Still don't know what it is, but let's plug it in. Oh, I've got to have a look at it, right? Oh, whoa! Don't know what that is. Oh, Moog are killing the game with the unboxing. What is this? This is beautiful. Oh, smells good. You know, like a Martin, if you're into guitars, Martins just smell good, don't they? They keep their smell. What's that? Ah, oh, bless the guy. It's like a poster. Wow. That's cool. Hey, you're winning me over. I thought, because I was like, oh, theremin. Oh, God, I just embarrassed embarrass myself. Registered little warranty. It's all very sweet. Right, that's a bit heavy metal there. Boy. That, and then a sticker, cheers. A little layer. Kettle leads, exciting. IEC cables. Little power adapter, right, here we go, come on. Ooh, I don't know how much this is. For more information on the product, and if this is like, oh, shut up, and I wanted to see a demo, I'm sorry. That's not my thing on products I just don't know about. So click the links below, uh, or if you want to skip ahead, we do the chapter markers. This is more like what it'd be like if you just walked in the store and tried it, or someone bought a few for a gift and you had no idea what it was. Wow. That is cool. It does, doesn't it? What's your thoughts on that, boys? Yeah, posh. Oh, yeah. It's just, you don't normally have that feeling. It's a bit, yeah, it's a bit guitar-y. Yeah, exactly. And we're still, now, I think I can do the features here, and I don't even know anything about it. We've got phones volume, a volume range, a pitch range, the waveform and the brightness, and a mute. <laughs> So God, that's quite foreboding that we got that. I don't know if I hit you up. Yeah, yeah, the Falcon can do that. Now, my idea for this video, and I'm gonna to stick to it, is that because I, I don't wanna to get too serious about this one, but we wanna hear what it sounds like, and maybe you've never seen a theremin in action. When you do see it, they seem really good. They've practiced it. And I wanna show you what it's like for three numpties to have a go on it. So we're gonna do a game of guess that tune. The Falcon and Oz, we're all gonna try play something that we think that people might know, and with no rehearsal, 
walk up to the theremin and just see how we get on, right? This is real world stuff. Amazing product, I'm sure people can do some amazing things. The launch video of this from Moog, oh my word. The band, it's the best example of theremin playing and I don't wanna even pretend I can make music like that. So this is just what uh, three, well, two young strapping lads and an old crazy dad, lad gets on with. Let's get into the video, come on. Oz. Yes. Thank you so much for being first up in this legendary game of Name That Tune. Mm -hmm. The reason why you're first up is it turns out you spent most of your life in an underground theremin <laughs> ring. No, out of all of us, you've got an idea. So can you be the person to tell us a bit about the theremin and how you see it? Okay. Uh, simplest way to put it is you have your mm -hmm. left hand on the, what's, how do they call this in the manual? Oh, what's it called? The, the loop? Loop. Volume. Loop. This is volume. So essentially, the higher you raise your hand, the louder it gets. And the right hand, you have the pitch, and it tells you to make the, oh, isn't that like a white hand? <laughs> no, right. okay. no, it's okay. This is, this is the okay sign. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so it tells you to make this sign, and this is going to be your pitch. So if I raise my left hand and move my right hand closer. <laughs> you get that effect. Great. It looks, I mean, I'm going to stack it so hard. Yeah. This is why, Oz, you're going to go up first. You can oh. play... Attempt to play any tune. Right. And uh, the what's the prize? Uh, the prize, the person that can play it, a recognisable tune. Uh huh. We'll keep going until one of us recognises the tune. So I think it's just be high. I, I'm not like mega confident, but I feel like you'll get it. I will. Like, I don't think I'm going to play well, but I think you both might get I it. I will buy the. Uh, on me, the, the winner will, because it won't be me, because <laughs> uh, the winner will um, get their milkshake of choice at Slim Chickens. Okay, rad. Uh, what I will say, this brightness knob is really cool. I'm not sure if you've messed with this yet, but this is, so is, it, is this, this is 12 o'clock. I turn it down. I turn it up. Pretty cool. And it must be said, we um, feel free to, we slapped on the awesome UA effects pedals that I've got. I love those things. So yeah. we've got a bit of reverb today. Do you want to turn them off and just in case there's some theremin purists who want to hear what okay. Slapping. I like it with a bit of delay and reverb. Yeah. On. Yeah. Okay, here we go. This is round one. Okay. Of Name that tune. Okay. <laughs> it's weird. It's weird. Wait. <laughs> I can do it. It's. <sighs> Wait. It's, it's, it's hard to pick a start note. That's the issue. It's hard to pick like the start. Harry Potter! No way! Yeah! <laughs> oh, wow! That is truly oh, unbelievable. Yeah. Right, up next. Uh, oh, it's well done. Well no, done. don't thank me for that. Well, oh, God. I'm running for this milkshake. Come on, um, Chris, get in there. Let's see if you right, can I'm muted. play a tune that is somewhat recognised. Here we go. <laughs> Okay, up next, all the way from Malta, <laughs> the Maltese Falcon! <laughs> <laughs> right, and uh, this is round two of Name That Tune. That's as much experience as you've ever had on Yeah, yeah, pretty much, right, yeah, so pretty much. showing you again, this is what it's like if you've never played it. Sorry if it's a bit of fun, but this is fun. Chris, just work your way towards it and we will try guess the tune. Okay, here we go, here we go. I need Three, to... Three, four. <laughs> So let me get let me get that starting pitch. Okay, okay, here we go. Yes. 
That's it. What? It's nice to say that. Go go high enough. That was too much. Can you guess it? You got it. Nice to say that. That was not. That's actually really good. Deciding, yeah, <laughs> has to be a semi final. Well, yeah. I know what the end game is over that, but just to show you how bad it is, I'm gonna switch in round three of Name That Tune. We've already got two front runners, <laughs> and uh, I'm definitely gonna bring up the rear. I've never, even in the setup, ever touched or got near a theremin. Uh, I'm going to attempt so the volume, right? Start there. I've got unmute. Oh, shh. Piano's the first. Yeah? Yeah, unmute. Good. Now raise your hand. And this. Whoa, it's so precise, right? <laughs> Okay, you've gone for just a little clue. <laughs> a clue for everyone out there playing along. I'm thinking uh, more of a traditional song, not in the charts. <laughs> How much fun, right? If you've got enough dollar to buy this, just this sat around, this should be hilarious. Right, okay, here we go. <laughs> It is so insanely yeah. fine. Is that, how he played Muse on that is like mad. <laughs> savant, Savant, this is it. You found your corner, mate. Here we go. Start further away. Okay, start yeah. out here, right? deserve to be in it. I, that is terrible. Right. Good old, we're having a, hopefully we're showing how fun it is, but you two definitely deserve a shootout. So what I did before they started, whilst they were setting this up, I made a little drone backing track on my OP1 in A. So we want to show, again, this is not us just pissing about, to show you maybe what it would be like when you buy it from Anderson's in that first experience. So if you, you have a bit of fun with it, guessing some tunes, but the next bit is like, how do I play it along with the track? So these two are gonna be shooting it out, let's go. Oz, back in the hot seat for the final showdown. Yes. Between him and the Maltese Falcon, you've done amazing the first round. This one, I've got a small drone in the key of A, I think. Oh, A, that note. Oh yeah, it's a tough key, <laughs> tough key A on the first. <laughs> And the, I'm, we're going to set a clock for 30 minutes. I'm going to fiddle on my OP1. 30 seconds. 30, yeah, no, 30 minutes. 30 minutes. <laughs> 30 second timer. And uh, then I'll, I don't know why, but I'll be the judge of it after who shreds the best, right? Do you want, um, do you think you should be allowed a calibration? I think you should be allowed a calibration. Yeah, yeah, so definitely. this is what you're going to be playing over. <laughs> Oh. Can you kill the volume there? There we go. He's in there. 30 seconds starting now.
was like, it, I ran out of time just as I started to like, okay, that's what I want to do. Uh, it was yeah, like but, over. But let's see, because it was so banging, I kept it going. We were talking 45 seconds. Oh. It was a great stint, round of applause. Oh, I let myself down. Uh, no, 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 no. Malsey's Falcon back in. Come on, Malsey's Falcon. <laughs> All right, you got to use your face. <laughs> Back in the hot seat, the Maltese Falcon. Woo! 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 Right, okay, we're going to allow for calibration. Okay. Okay, okay. Oh, good, he's feeling good, he's feeling good there. We're, we're going to get 45 seconds, my G. Let's go. Let's hit it! Hey, round of applause again, a lot of round of applause today for our contestants. Uh, it's fallen to me to make the decision and uh, it was close. It was really close. There was a lot of expression in there. <laughs> I felt like we all went on a journey today and the best bit is these guys were brave enough to put it out there and show you at home what it's like if you got it out of the box and you've never played one before. And they did considerably better than me. I must say that I doff my cap and I award the first gate name that tune honorary Oreo milkshake to Oz. Yay! I don't know. I don't know how he did it, but he got a tune out of it. Uh, check out the links below. If this has been silly and you hate it, I can totally see why. But hopefully, we let you know at the beginning of the video. And Felix went to all the chapter markers. We do other videos where we're a lot more serious. But this was just fun today, and I'm sure you can do some really serious. Who was the lovely uh, lady? Was it Clara? I think that was her name. Go check it and the launch video again. It's a serious product, but uh, we had fun with it today. I say that, but we're going to end the video. I had this, like, come on, lads, like, get in, the, get in here. <laughs> and we're uh, going to jam out with uh, trying to play a tune. Should I get a backing track going again? Yeah, <laughs> he's going to plug it in. And then we're going to try to jam along only using our heads to do it. Three of us. Let's see if I can get a jam track. If you like what we're doing, consider subscribing. If you don't, let us know. We learn from the hate.
be so good, man. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> <That's> <laughs> <it>. <laughs>